uh, it's not often that we get to bring in big time NBA reporters. To <laughs> Pretty our, good. I mean, it's kind of a big. I'm try to get some scoops out of them before he leaves. Deal so. here. Uh, <laughs> Kevin O'Connor uh, joins us. He is uh, NBA reporter for the Ringer. But frankly, I don't care about him. It's his dad, Paul, who's here as well. Who we, uh, Kevin, let's start with you, the, the big-time NBA reporter. Uh, how did you find out that your dad was, was ill, and, and uh, what impact did it have on you? Well, it was uh, March 15th was the first day that we found out that he had cancer. I was in Los Angeles, um, home out there when my mom called, and we found out. Um, it wasn't until the next day we knew, you know, the severity of it. Until la- and then later in the month we found out just how serious it, it actually was, how it spread. Um, it's uh, cholangiocarcinoma, bile duct cancer, and he also has a liver tumor. Um, so, you know, really, like, immediately, as soon as you were, you were diagnosed, I, I think um, it was just about, okay, how do we maximize each day? What's the next step more than anything else? Um, so I think almost immediately we sort of just were, had that mindset. Now, back in May, you wrote an incredible article uh, about your father, about the relationship you guys have with basketball, the Celtics, just the NBA in general. I'm sure most people have, have read it, um, and I dare anybody to read it without getting yeah. emotional. I Probably mean, it, it, is, it is incredible, but Thank what you. urged you – to want to write about that i think i think it touched a lot of people but not the normal article that you're certainly accustomed to writing yeah i i started writing it sort of as a personal thing just i was gonna like give it to my, my parents and and then i was like you know what maybe i'll give this to my editor at the ringer chris ryan uh who's unbelievable and i passed it along to him to see if it was something that he thought you know we could maybe publish on the website and you know, I wasn't really sure how people would respond to it at all. I, I, in fact, I was sort of worried that it would come off as like, you know, like look at look at us, like look look at me. And I, that was such an irrational concern when really it was something that people related to, whether it had to do with a cancer diagnosis or whether it has to do with their relationship with their, you know, their dad or their mom or a sibling right. over sports, whether it's basketball or something else. So, um, I don't know. The response to that was unbelievable. Uh, Something I definitely didn't expect, but I'm glad I'm glad we did publish it. I mean, Paul, Brad Stevens, sorry, Dale. Brad yeah? Stevens opened up his press <laughs> conference that day talking about it. Yeah. I know Marcus Smart has had a lot of good things to say. Just around the league, that that had to blow you away, both of you guys, just yes. to see the the amount of NBA people reaching out. Yeah, he he was shocked, especially from Marcus yeah. Smart. You know, Amazing. gave a signed jersey, B- brought brought tears to my eyes yeah. quite quite a few times. <laughs> yeah. Well, Paul, let's bring you into the conversation here, and and unfortunately, we hear this kind of story a lot. You got sick. Mm-hmm. You had the flu. Yes. You didn't think anything of it. No. But you couldn't shake it. No, I couldn't. And I was losing weight and uh, got a little worried and went in for testing. Got blood test one day, and then the next day I got a uh, cat scan. Cat scan done, and uh, wasn't good. So they sent me right to the hospital. Mm-hmm. That was that. I retired a little bit earlier than I wanted to retire, unfortunately. But I'm happy to have the support of my wife, my son, and all all, all the support he's gotten from from me over the you know past few months from people that he's reached out to. It's amazing. Uh, Paul, you must be so proud just of Kevin and where he's come from. Uh-huh. And, and the, again, the story really points out where he was. You're the one that sort of, hey, hey right, like, you know, get into this. Intern here. Talk to these people. Yep. And now, and I'm not just saying this because you're here, one of the best <laughs> NBA writers in the country. We appreciate and that. That's, and th- but that's a lot of that is you. A lot of that, I don't think he's going nearly yeah. as far if it's, if it's not you suggesting things and, and supporting them all. Yeah, way. yeah. He po- he's pointed it out a number of times and. uh I think he's done a lot of it himself. He's been writing since yeah. he was a little kid. We were looking at his articles the other day when he was 10 years old. <laughs> 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 now, Paul, you started a program called Dunk on Cancer. Oh, Kevin, 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 I Kevin. And, and all you've done so far is raise $75,000? Wow. Yeah, sponsors on real. Uh, on real. <laughs> I, I think that was really... I think when I came home from L.A., uh, I mentioned to you, like, hey, it would be sort of cool to do a, a fundraiser. Um, didn't really know exactly what, but it wasn't until the, after seeing the response to the article where I was like, okay, this, this has to be something um, that we do to try to turn a personal negative you know, for our family into a hopefully a positive experience um, for a lot of people to rally around. And um, raising 75000 with over 1,000 people donating individual donations to it was uh, pretty awesome. The, the response was pretty unbelievable to that. Kevin's had a transition from being a Celtics fan into an NBA fan, but that you don't <laughs> yes. have to, right? You're still, no, no, I'm Celtic still, I'm still a Celtics right, good, fan. Yeah. Good. What do you think of Kemba Walker? Oh, great. He's going to be great. 
Kevin, you sign off on that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 you can't disagree with that. Daddy, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think with Kevin, like it's going to yeah. be fascinating to see him now with the best supporting cast that he's ever had yes. in his entire career. Like the best player Kemba played with before the season was Al Jefferson. Or Nick Batum. Or Nick Batum. I mean, it's kind of <laughs> yeah. sad for Kemba. <laughs> was, uh, was your dad the reason you first – Loved basketball and, oh, yeah. and the Celtics in particular. Oh, no doubt about it. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, I think back to like '98, '99, 2000, then those bad early 2000s Celtics teams after they had that run against the Pacers. But it's like even through all the bad years, him and I always watching games late at night together. Like some one of my favorite Celtics teams ever was the 06, 07 team before <laughs> they got Kevin Garnett and team. Ray yeah. Allen. It was just a fun year to watch. Yeah. all these young guys constantly get better, like Tony Allen and Leon Poe. <laughs> to watch bad basketball is that what you mean uh, it's uh it's yeah. about the experience and the journey yeah. more than anything else we still so, had a lot of high fives together yeah, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of high fives yeah so yeah my dad's the reason why i became a sports fan um, in the first place for sure was there anybody that that has reached out to you since that story came out that really surprised you um yeah i mean i i think like regardless i think i've just got a lot of messages or yeah. sometimes people like just They'll say, hey, you know, and say your story meant a lot to me. Or they, they'll share their own story. And that, that was really the most powerful thing mm. about the response to it is, like, everybody offering, like, thoughts and prayers means a lot. And everybody that donated meant a lot. But the people that were, you know, vulnerable and open sharing their own stories and how that related to them, um, that's what really touched me the most. Because uh, I, I think, you know, regardless of, you know, this event is incredible. But regardless of what it is, it's being open to being vulnerable, being honest, mm -hmm. you know, and being genuine with others is something that for me, I really took away from that. It just felt good to have people do that with me and, you know, and in return, you know, offer that to them. I think it just made a lot of great, strong connections with the conversations that we had. Paul, it seems like an obvious question, but I ask it a lot of people who come in here and visit with us. Why Dana Farber for you? Uh, I think they're probably the best around. They're best, they're one of the best in the country. And uh, I'm happy the doctors and nurses were great. And I'm, you know, I'm still being treated for chemo, and uh, just very happy with the treatment I've gotten there. And now, how often is is the treatment now? What's uh, your What's your day to day like? I, I I go two weeks with chemo, okay. and then I take a, uh, ten days off, and then I go back and for two more weeks, and uh, been feeling pretty good, you know. Got a, got a really good nurse at home. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Right over there. Yep. <laughs> it, because it is always a family treatment, yeah. isn't it? It's not just you, yes, Paul, no. or, or Carol, or Kevin. It's it's everybody. It's the group. It's a most emotional support and uh, physical support. And uh, I get it from both of them and all the doctors and nurses. And it's been great. A lot of smiles. Smiles I, Smiles make me happy. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've always been a super close family, but, I, you know, it's like seeing us bond together and grow even closer has been um, it's a really good feeling. Is Gordon yeah. Hayward back or what? Was this, has he had a good I year? Think, you better hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I think, I think today, today he, 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 had, he talked in some event where he's talking about his, his recovery. Yeah. It's like st we're still talking oh, about yeah, I know. Gordon Hayward getting back. <sighs> um, well, guys, thank you yeah. so much for, first of all, Kevin, for sharing your dad's story initially, as Rich said. Yeah. You had a hard time getting through that with a dry eye. But, Paul, thank you for sharing Kevin with us as well. And Thank you, Dale. Thank you guys for coming in here. It's great to thank see you. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.